Hi, and welcome to Entertech Global Training. My name is Kara Wills, and today we're going to demonstrate the installation of a soft start kit on our XT and CT products. Let's get started. Before beginning the installation, we'll review the components included with the kit. There are two kits available. Kit number AKSSSD is compatible with the two and three ton models. Kit AKSSLD is compatible with the four, five, and six ton models. Please confirm you have the right kit before beginning the installation. Here are the components of the kit. Before beginning the installation, disconnect power from the unit. After opening the control box, verify power has been disconnected. The center cabinet band must be removed by pressing one side of the band toward the center of the unit and pulling outward. Once the band is removed, the top and bottom panels can be removed. Mount the plastic mounting clip from the module to the metal bracket with the two number 10 by 3 8 5 16 hex head blunt tip screws provided in the kit. Only opposite corners need to be screwed down. Remove the high voltage compressor harness quick connect plug from the connector plate at the top of the unit. The clips holding the compressor harness to the top connection plate can be accessed from inside the control box. Squeeze the clips on each side toward the center of the connector to release it from the connection plate. Make sure that both pieces of the harness are disconnected from the plate. Some of the Bramic tape covering the electrical connectors will need to be removed. When the installation is complete, you'll need to cover the hole that remains with some of the provided Bramic tape. Disconnect the red, black, and yellow 10 gauge wires from the compressor contactor. Disconnect the green 10 gauge wire from the ground bar. Warning, this is important. After disconnecting the black and red wire from the compressor contactor, the lugs must be tightened down or the connection may be bad. At this point, the smaller half of the high voltage compressor harness should be completely free and can be discarded. Cut any wire ties and remove the short 10 gauge yellow wire that runs from the compressor contactor to the capacitor. This wire can also be discarded. Cut the plug off the long half of the high voltage compressor harness, the part of the harness that runs from the top plate down to the compressor. Strip the yellow and green 10 gauge wires. These will be connected to the butt splices in the new soft start kit harness that has been provided with the kit. Cut the zip ties off the bundle of wires that runs from the top plate down to the compressor section. Locate the access hole under the blower housing near the side panel. Peel the sealing compound from the wiring access hole at the blower section base divider. Mark a spot on the top cover 7.5 inches from the left edge and 1.5 inches from the front of the unit near the contactor. Drill a 7 8 inch hole and place the provided closed plastic bushing into the hole. Important: Do not route wires through the old quick connect hole. Wires may rub or chafe, causing a short to the cabinet. We recommend covering the motor and components to protect it from metal shavings. The module is installed in different places for right or left hand return. We'll cover the left hand return next. For right hand, follow the on-screen instructions. Mount the metal bracket to the compressor base pan support rail near the right corner post. Position the bracket downward toward the bottom base pan. Use the existing screw and one of the provided number 10 by half inch 5 16 hex head self-tapping screws. Take the black and red 10 gauge wires, the ones that the plug was cut off, and route them down past the right hand side of the blower, through the wiring access hole at the bottom of the blower compartment, into the compressor section, past the left hand side of the foamed in coax, down to the soft start module. Cut off any excess wire length, Strip the ends of the remaining wire and connect the black wire to the L2 terminal on the soft start module and the red wire to the R terminal on the soft start module. Take the wiring harness that was provided with the kit and connect it as shown in the schematic. Make sure to route the wires from the soft start module along the same path as the red and black 10 gauge wires. Connect the black and red wires to L1 and L2 on the contactor. This is important. The solid yellow 10 gauge wire that runs from the S terminal on the soft start module to the capacitor must go to the same side of the capacitor that the solid yellow 10 gauge start wire from the compressor. The yellow 10 gauge wire with the black stripe connects to the opposite side of the capacitor. 
The short 10 gauge yellow and green wires will be hooked up in the control box and then butt spliced to the yellow and green wires that the connector was cut off. Make sure connections are tight. Connect the two low voltage 18 gauge wires to the auxiliary relay on the soft start module. Connect one end of the red 18 gauge wire to terminal 11 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the R terminal on the lockout board. Connect one end of the brown 18 gauge wire to terminal 14 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the L terminal on the thermostat terminal strip in the control box. Important, if there is an issue with the soft start module, a fault signal will be sent to the lockout board, which in turn will send a fault signal to the thermostat. Mount the soft start module to the plastic clip with the connections facing downward and plug in the auxiliary relay connector to the top of the soft start module. Verify the final wiring matches the diagram. This concludes the unique installation procedures for left hand return. Please fast forward to finishing touches for both left and right return. For right hand return, there are just a couple differences. Mount the metal bracket to the blower compartment base pan near the left corner post. Position the bracket downward toward the compressor base pan. Use the existing screw and one of the provided number 10 by half inch 5 16 hex head self tapping screws. Take the black and red 10 gauge wires, the ones that the plug was cut off, and route them down past the left side of the blower through the wiring access hole at the bottom of the blower compartment into the compressor section to the soft start module. Note, right hand downflow units may require the internal duct to be temporarily removed from the unit during kit installation. Cut off any excess wire length. Strip the ends of the remaining wire and connect the red wire to the R terminal on the soft start module and the black wire to the L2 terminal on the soft start module. Take the new wiring harness that was provided with the kit and connect it as shown in the schematic. Make sure to route the wires from the soft start module along the same path as the red and black 10 gauge wires. Important. The solid yellow 10 gauge wire that runs from the S terminal on the soft start module to the capacitor must go to the same side of the capacitor as the solid yellow 10 gauge start wire from the compressor goes to. The yellow 10 gauge wire with the black stripe connects to the opposite side of the capacitor. The short 10 gauge yellow and green wires will be hooked up in the control box and then butt spliced to the yellow and green wires that the connector was cut off. Make sure connections are tight. Connect the two low voltage 18 gauge wires to the auxiliary relay on the soft start module. Connect one end of the red 18 gauge wire to terminal 11 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the R terminal on the lockout board. Connect one end of the brown 18 gauge wire to terminal 14 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the L terminal on the thermostat terminal strip in the control box. Important. If there is an issue with the soft start module, a fault signal will be sent to the lockout board, which in turn will send a fault signal to the thermostat. Mount the soft start module to the plastic clip with the connections facing downward and plug in the auxiliary relay connector to the top of the soft start module. Verify the final wiring matches the diagram. The wire ties provided in the kit should be used to bundle the harness wires back together and secure them to other wires passing through the wiring access hole up to the top plate. Important, do not allow wires to contact the superheater or any other non-insulated piping. Reinsert the sealing compound into the wiring access hole at the bottom of the blower compartment. Using the rest of the provided Bramic tape, cover any gaps in the top cover where all of the wiring connections are made in order to prevent air leakage. The soft start kit is also designed to be installed in our legacy products, the ST, WT, and HT. To install the kit on these products, wire the module just like the XTCT videos using the same diagram. The module is installed on the ST, WT, and HT just above the control box. The unit is now ready to be powered up. The last step is to read through and familiarize yourself with the LED light functions in the installation manual. The installation manuals can be found at the Entertech website. Referring to the manual while watching this video will make learning easier. Thanks for watching the Entertech Global Training video.